Um, so this molecule here, it says, is a cockroach repellent found in cucumbers. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, so these cucumbers have this molecule in them that cockroaches don't like, yeah. So you can take this molecule out of cucumbers and make some sort of spray or something with it and, you know, cockroaches will go away. I assume. I haven't done this or anything. But um, anyways, this question asks us to identify the electrophilic centers in this molecule. Okay? So remember, electrophile means what? It likes electrons. Okay? So it's going to have a what? An empty orbital or positive charge. That's what, so what we're looking for. Do we see anything that has a positive charge on this molecule? But what can we do to rearrange it to see these electrophilic centers? They're not being obvious to us right now, but if we do, if we draw a what? Resonance. Resonance structure, it'll show us, right? So, should we draw one? You guys want to? Okay, let's draw one. Well, I was going to say, well, I was going to say, <laughs> we could just point them out without drawing them, but no, it's totally cool. We'll draw them. And hopefully you guys are drawing this, right? Can we just do the one? Why not? Because you have to move That carbon would have how many bonds if we just did that? Five, right? So we've got to do that. Okay, so that's going to be one. This one's going to show us one of the. something else. Charges. charges. So where are the charges going to be? Uh, yeah, yeah, the so negative charge the there. And do I have a positive charge somewhere? Yeah. Where? This carbon here, right? Okay, let's make sure we're still in the frame. Barely. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do this one fast because the camera's dying. But anyways, so if I went back to this molecule here, could I find one of the electrophilic centers already? Could I box it in green? Mm -hmm. Where would it be? Um, Tell me. Uh, seventh carbon. Okay, the carbon with the what? Oh, from over there. Positive, Positive charge, charge, right? <clears throat> so that one, there. Okay, so remember this said that we have two of them. Can anybody figure out what the other one is? What would I have to do to find it? So draw another resonance form. So let's take it from here and do it. What would I want to do? Anybody guess or should I do it myself? Very good, yes. And then what would that show? That would show your positive charge at the same time. Yeah, so let's just draw that final resonance structure. just like you said, right there, right? So if we wanted to box in green on our original structure, where our other electrophilic center is, what would we, what would we box? The carbonyl carbon, okay? The carbonyl carbon. Like that. Okay, so those are the two electrophilic centers. The thing you want to take away from this problem is that Carbonyl carbons are electrophilic, okay? Also, carbons that are, um, so this would be alpha, beta, do you see that? So alpha from the carbonyl carbon, one carbon away, beta from the carbonyl carbon, two carbons away. Um, if you have an alpha, beta, unsaturated carbonyl group, remember un 
unsaturated means doesn't have all the hydrogens on it, not an alkane, right, portion. So alpha, beta, unsaturated, that beta carbon is also uh, electrophilic. So carbonyl carbons and alpha, beta, the beta carbon from uh, a carbonyl is electrophilic. Just the beta carbon. Question? Okay, cool. Sure.